perfect. So previously I made this stripped down version of a 3 speed gearbox. At its core it's two planetary gear sets, a bunch of clutches and a lot of persistence, time and a lot of cups of tea that went into making this work. Giving us three forward gears and one reverse. And apart from one internal gear cutter, which was a custom tool which had to be rebuilt, a bunch of wasted acrylic, and a lot of discarded aluminium. The biggest casualty of this project were these carbide inserts that I use in the lathe tool holders. And look, these cutters are consumables. Unlike a piece of high speed steel which can be resharpened, when the carbide inserts break, you swap them out to a different cutting edge, or you swap them out to a new insert. It does feel a bit wasteful, but that is the name of the game when it comes to using them. But the thing is, in a normal project, I only expect to go through one, maybe two, if it's a big project and the steel that I'm using is particularly tough. In the last project though, I went through five and that was all just in aluminium. With that said though, technically it was my fault on two fronts. And by that I mean wrong cutter and wrong material. Aluminium, as I'm sure you know, is a soft gummy material. And if you're not careful, it can very easily weld itself or stick to your cutting tools, even if you are using a lot of cutting oil. Now I don't want to give you the wrong impression because not all alloys are quite so bad, and some of them cut particularly well with these inserts, but every now and then you will encounter a very soft alloy or tamper that will very easily stick to your inserts and ruin them. Which is what happened here. Ah, wait a second. It's also not helped by the fact that the inserts and the coating that I'm using are not made for aluminium. What I should have used were these polished inserts which are made specifically for cutting aluminium. They don't guarantee that it won't stick but they do a much better job than the inserts that I was using. But because I really do aluminium these days I didn't have any in the correct size when I needed them. And I don't currently have the grinding wheel that I can use for grinding high speed steel. What that meant was I used the wrong inserts for cutting aluminium and the aluminium has now welded itself onto the cutting edge. Now if the build up isn't so bad you can simply run it in steel to clear the aluminium. But if the build up is bad it can take a chunk out of the cutting edge as the aluminium breaks away. Which will ruin the insert. Thankfully the fix is quite simple. What you'll need is some drain cleaner that uses lye, caustic soda or sodium hydroxide as the main active ingredient. Among the many things that sodium hydroxide should not come into contact with is wood, paint and most importantly aluminium. Now the inserts are small so they only need a small amount of water with the sodium hydroxide added to it. And it probably helps not to spill it everywhere. Then I'll add the inserts. The sodium hydroxide should now be reacting with the aluminium to produce sodium aluminate and hydrogen, effectively dissolving it from the cutting edge. And the underlying carbide should remain unaffected, at least in theory. The reaction also takes a little bit of time, so what I'm going to do is leave it overnight. And at least to me, I think that looks pretty good. And the coating here seems to be unaffected. And looking at the cut, that is much better. So effectively, five minutes of work saved me four inserts. Easy work. On a final note, you can also do this if you clog up an end mill with aluminium, but if you're manually machining, it takes a fair amount of effort to do this with an end mill, or at least it did with me. Bit of a different story with CNC though. Thanks for watching.